Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be about do's and don'ts in Goa. This video is going to be from my personal experience. We were in Goa for about 8 to 9 days. 4 days in North Goa, 4 days in South Goa. So whatever I have learned, whatever we could improve, wherever we could save cost, I have taken notes about those and I would want to share it with you so that you guys don't make the same mistakes as we made. So without any further ado, let's get started. First point, avoid taxis wherever possible. We took a train from Bangalore to Goa and we got down at Vasco da Gama railway station. From there to our room in North Goa, Kalangut, the cab guy charged us 1600. So there was another offer. He'll get in another couple and the cab charge will be reduced to 1200. Even then this is still costly. So what else? What else can be done? There are a lot of scooty rental options in and around the railway stations. So even in Madgaon station as well as Vasco da Gama railway station, there will be a lot of uh, scooty rental services. You can do a little groundwork and search scooty rentals on Google and talk to them, pay a small deposit that is 500 rupees and they will book your scooty for you. So whatever time your train arrives, just let them know and they will deliver the scooty there at the same time, collect the scooty from them and then you can roam around, return back at the same point in railway station, board your train and go back. If you take it in North Goa, from Madgaon to North Goa, you have to take a cab. From North Goa, you take that scooty, roam around, then Return it in North Goa again from North Goa to your railway station in Madgaon or Vasco da Gama. You have to take a cab. So to avoid all these situations, best take the scooty at your railway station. If at all you have to take a cab, then they have options of engaging the cab for the full day. They charge around 3500. There's another option called uh, going by the meter. The base price itself is 2800. First 80 kilometers that comes at 2800. On top of that, every additional kilometer is charged. Point number two. Coordinate your train timings and your hotel check-in timings. We suffered because of this. Hotel check-in timings are usually 12 p.m. Our train arrived in Goa at 4 in the morning. So then we were stuck. We didn't know what to do. We didn't know whether to stay in the railway station or go to the room. Because we had asked for an early check-in but they forgot and just they, everything just screwed up. Ask for an early check-in and remind the hotel guys about your arriving early or book a room from previous night itself. If Point number three, never fill the petrol tank of your rental scooty full. So uh, fill it half, empty it and then again fill half. Now what happens is if you fill the tank full and if you can only empty half, the rest of the half tank you are not going to get any money when you return the scooty back. They are not going to pay you for the excess petrol even if you ask for it. Yeah and when you get your scooty from the rental service, they are going to give you only a very little quantity of petrol which is enough for you to go to the nearest petrol pump and fill it. That's not going to be half tank or full tank of petrol. Point number four, North Goa or South Goa. So if you're going with your friends, going for partying, booze, just the clubs and pubs, then North Goa is for you. If you're going for relaxing, chilling, having a nice time, sitting by the beach in a good resort with your family, then South Goa is for you. So I would recommend to go to Goa twice, once fully to North Goa, once fully to South Goa. If you do it like us, covering North and South together, then that's going to be a little problematic. It's going to be very hectic, heavy on the pocket as well. Point number five, what kind of hotel rooms to book? I would suggest to book Airbnbs or studio apartments which have kitchen. 
because food is very costly in goa so any meal in goa would cost around 600 to 700 for two people so that's pretty costly even breakfast lunch and dinner everything is costly so if you can save money on either one meal of the day if you can cook at your place that will be a great savings on the pocket point number 6 bargain and buy only from markets like gandhi market and flea markets and these kind of places do not buy stuff around the beach along the beach shore or in the beach do not buy anything there because they are like crazy costly they will start selling you jewelry at say like what 650 rupees and they'll come down to 300 with great difficulty but if you go to the market and see there the base price itself is 250 rupees so like point number 7 book casinos ahead so there are casinos like deltin royal deltin jack casino pride big daddy all these have their websites you can go there book casinos ahead their cost is from 1000 rupees per person to 3000 rupees per person deltin royal is the costliest with 3000 rupees per person starting price there's a place called panji harbor area this is the boarding point for all the casinos so when you arrive there you can find lot of local people selling you casinos uh, tickets saying that uh, they can take you in a casino but i am not sure how genuine they are so it would be better to book casinos online point number 8 about the climate and clothing climate is hot and humid even in december we were sweating crazily so you could carry clothes like that sunscreen hats sunglasses and if you are going by scooty so you could wear clothes which are loose which will help you sit on the scooty point number 8 don't get scammed like us i leave a link in the i button here or here for you to watch what was that that we got scammed in goa don't get scammed like us do not talk to strangers who come and sell you scratch cards uh, who sell you lottery tickets or whatever stay away from such people you are planning your vacation with a tight schedule and going you have no time to waste and these guys will definitely waste your 4 to 5 hours anyway so make sure to avoid these guys and so that's it for this video i hope you liked it if you liked it then make sure to hit the like button and share it with your friends and let me know in the comments if you want me to make a video on the itinerary that we followed and also do not forget to subscribe Thank you. Bye.